Hello there, it's Qualma, and this is Who Won Episode 2, Homelander vs. Red Hulk. And I'm going to talk about the Who Would Win show episode of Homelander vs. Red Hulk, where Homelander was rep by Ray and Red Hulk was rep by James. And the guest judge was Anaris Quinones, a voice actress who's known for her voiceover work on anime such as My Hero Academia, which I think is super cool. I love anime. I haven't actually gotten around to watching My Hero Academia, but probably put it on my long list of things to watch, which would also include The Boys, because, shocker, I haven't actually watched The Boys. I was bad, and I looked up spoilers for season two, because I wanted to know why everyone was freaking out, so I was, like, confused. I didn't know what was going on. I shouldn't have done that, but yeah, and then I had to do some other research for Red Hulk also because I don't actually know that much about superheroes. <laughs> like, I think superhero movies are super cool and I'll watch them and they're fun, but I'm not, like, super knowledgeable about them because I haven't really read that many comic books. <laughs> so, like, some of my friends, they know all about, like, the Marvel and DC superheroes, and I'm like, what? I have no idea what's going on. But the good thing about the Who Would Win show is that you learn about books, comic books, movies, TV shows, and video games. You usually don't watch like ones that are kind of out of, I guess, your comfort zone or your realm of knowledge. But it's like a crash course in pop culture, and that's one of the many reasons why I love the Who Would Win show so much. And I didn't even know there were multicolored versions of Hulk. I thought that there was just the green one, but apparently there's Red Hulk and Gray Hulk. So... Yes, that was another learning moment for me. <laughs> so here's how the episode went. Here were Ray's three points. His first point was heat vision, which is Homelander's main weapon of choice. You know, it's quick, it's efficient, and unlike Superman, Homelander won't hesitate like to use its full power. He doesn't hold back like Superman does because he's not really like super noble like Superman is. And then he was arguing about how Hulk made Red Hulk overheat, which would depower him, and argues that it might make him explode, but James said that there has to be very specific circumstances that apparently Homelander couldn't pull off that would make Red Hulk explode. So, and then Ray was saying that, like, this would speed up, his heat vision could speed up the whole overheating process to depower Red Hulk. So that was a good first point. His second point was he's talking about Homelander's backup powers, like he can fly, and then he has high level strength and he's very, very fast. Out of the 200,000 superheroes in the, the boys universe, he is the strongest in the world, which is a really impressive feat. And then there isn't a weapon on earth that they haven't thrown at him and nothing has defeated him. Even his son's laser vision, it just like singed his outfit. And I'm glad he addressed that because I was thinking, I was like, well, if Red Hulk's really hot, how is he supposed to touch the guy? But apparently the heat does not bother him. And he was saying that like he threw a guy up in the air. Apparently he was a bad guy. And he flew he like landed a city block away and that guy was dead. He was toast. He was out of there. And then he argued Red Heart Hulk just cannot hurt this guy. And then James was talking about how it took three minutes for him to get back to the fight after Homelander was buried by a whole bunch of cement. Meanwhile, Red Hulk, he had the whole Avengers Tower thrown on him and he came back pretty quickly. And then Ray's third point was that Homelander is really, really fast. Um, he's faster and more powerful on the ground. He can catch up to Mach 2 um, jets, which fly, that which Mach 2, as he said, was 1,500 miles per hour. That was another learning moment for me. And then he can fly. Hulk can't fly. He can, like, do cheap shots because Homelander's not above that. He can wear him down by, like, flying him and attacking him and then flying away. So yes, those were Ray's three points. And here are James's three points. He was talking about how Red Hulk has a lot of powers in common with Green Hulk. Like, you know, he has insane strength and durability and superhuman stamina, and he has the powers of an Omega-level mutant. Even Magneto had a hard time against this guy. And then he's talking about how he has, like, crazy one-punch man-ish powers, like how he jumped to the moon and back. Like, who does that? <laughs> And then he was talking about how he can regenerate, you know, he can even take off his head and he'll grow it back. I was thinking about that episode of Helsing whenever Alucard's head gets chopped off. And Andrew's like, yeah, I got him. And he's like, well, that's only step one to defeating him. So, ooh, man. The question is, is he fast enough to regenerate within a two-minute time limit? And he, yeah, he can take off his, like, his limbs and he'll just grow them back. And he emits gamma radiation which burns people who touches him. But like I said before, that probably wouldn't bother Homelander that much. And he tore a tornado in half, 
That made me think of Phil Swift when he's like, I just tore this boat in half. But yes, all very impressive feats for the Red Hulk. And then James's point number three, I mean, sorry, point number two was that he has years of combat experience. You know, he has strategies and he's even defeated Green Hulk decisively numerous times. He's even defeated Silver Surfer. And then Homelander doesn't have that much fight training experience against people who are more powerful than him. And then Ray was like, well, you know, when you're the most powerful, you don't have to think about like fighting weaker enemies. And he was talking about how like if you're facing a room full of ants, you don't have to do kung fu against them. You just have to stomp on them. So <laughs> that was hilarious. And at this point, Anna Reese was like leaning towards Red Hulk, which I kind of was too. Sorry, Ray. <laughs> Um, Because he's fought against all sorts of enemies, not just like humans that were weaker than him, but he's fought against aliens and really, really powerful mutants. And then James's point number three was the key weaknesses against Homelander and the key strengths of Hulk. So Red Hulk is stronger. He can't fly, but apparently Homelander's not as strong in the air as Superman is. Like he had to rescue a plane and he's like, I can't do it from the air. So he had to like jump back down to earth. That's another thing James was talking about, like, whenever Homelander is, like, kind of in a losing situation, he just sort of flies away, and then, but Superman, you know, he could probably, like, land that plane, no problem, he'll just pick it up and put it on the ground, because he is stronger in the air than Homelander is, Um, and plus, like, Homelander's overconfident, and he has kind of, like, a delicate psyche, like, he's like, praise me all the time, and if you don't, why, why don't you like me? (laughs) But, um, you know, Red Hulk was General Ross, you know, he doesn't need all this pandering (laughs) and then yes and then he was talking about how the heat vision again could actually make him more powerful so when homelander would use his heat vision against him he would just make him stronger and it's like right back at you and then wow so then anna reese declared red hulk the winner and yeah that's what i was kind of thinking before this episode even with my sort of rudimentary knowledge about it because i was like but the heat vision would just make him stronger and you know Homelander, they said that he's not really as strong as Superman, so, yeah, I thought it was a close match, but I thought that maybe, like, at first with the overheating and the subsequent exploding, I thought that maybe Ray could have gotten the win with that, along with, like, the cheap shots. It's like, yeah, he does have the flying advantage, but at the end of the day, you know, Homelander's too experienced, too kind of overconfident, so Red Hulk gets the win. And if you wanted to laugh, I recommend The Amazing Bulk. It's like, a cheap rip-off version <laughs> of The Incredible Hulk, but it's, like, so funny because it's so bad. Like, at the end, there's, like, no joke, a stock footage montage, and, like, the amazing bulk runs through all these random scenes, and there's, like, a flying puppy dog for no reason, and then there's, like, kids playing soccer and just sort of ignoring what's going around, but, yeah. <laughs> I found out about him from IHE, he's called I Hate Everything, and he. Has, he, oh, he's hilarious and he like kind of makes fun of like so bad it's good movies and then the amazing bulk was there and I was like no this is so bad like I couldn't help but laugh but yes thank you for listening I hope you all have a great day bye